Hello and welcome. These are horse racing selections for Saturday the 2nd of December. I am Flat Cap Callum and I'm hoping you're all very, very well. All right, I'm time poor. I'm going to try and get this done as speed of a cheater, but we'll see. You know what I'm like. I'll chunter on and then make myself late for where I've got to go next, but we'll try. Um, we've got £25 stake for Saturday. Three bets. There's a, an ambitious uh, Canadian uh sort of main bet yankee and then we've got a big combination double between the two races that's sort of the obvious race at newbury and uh and the big handicap at fairy house so i've got a uh three and a four in that one um combination double so 25 pound stake uh before we do that we'll whiz through friday friday we managed to make a profit first day of december uh n n not from <laughs> dundalk though so i got it as 20 on 31 39 back if you bet it with 365 you'd have, you'd have definitely been at least 10 12 13 pound better better than that um so yeah i think 365 would have done better from from a price point of view certainly but there was some shopping around so um this was the bet that made us profit we had non-runner because muscle got cancelled um, and then, yeah, I'm really pleased. I mean, those were really small prices by my standards. But, um, yeah, I, it, I, I just went on the right gut instinct with that bet. And, and yeah, thought that was clear second favourite. It was clearly the second best horse when the way the race finished. I thought that should be much shorter and it chased home Hermes Allen. So happy enough with that. And then Hurricane Harvey, if you watch that race, you never thought we were, we were going to get close. Um, bumped along so much and the jockey just kept going and going and going and managed to come up trumps and get fourth place. So nice profit, a non-runner, three places with the additional single on Hurricane Harvey. But that was the one SP'd at 33. So someone had got that and 40s was available at places. So that was fine. Um, got us ahead and then Dundalk. It didn't matter that it was rubbish. Um, but we had non-runner, no good. That one, I think, was unlucky. If you watch that race back, we got sandwiched when it was when it was starting to get closer. Uh, not quite good enough, but ran out ran the odds. And then that one fifth was really annoying. Um, so, uh, yeah, not, not, not too far away. But, uh, yeah, Dundalk, hero or zero. Friday, it was a zero. And that was a zero. We had Hinamoa second. And that was it. So nothing back from Dundalk. But we made a profit from Newbury, which covered our day. So we start uh, December £11 to the good. And I think we are... Uh, what we like one or two pound up for the for the week something like that going into the last day so we've got it all to play for for saturday um no video planned for tomorrow so saturday's bets um what i was gonna I, I mean, i've got one to mention in the each way extra market for those who like that sort of thing as well so saturday's bets. so ambitious canadian some of these are um races where you've got a real short odds on favourite and, and I've had a little bit of a rummage around they take a bit longer as well so the one early one in there and if you miss that that's fine to do that as a Yankee but the early one 1221 Doncaster and it's been a bit annoying I've been waiting to see if Doncaster's on because I had two Doncaster horses 1221 Doncaster Darris at 40 to 1 uh, 125 Fairy House Luminous Light at 28 131 Doncaster um, Hurricane Alley at 14s 221 Bangor, Sammy's guarantee at 30s, and in the big race, 250 Newbury, shake him up, Harry, 50s. Really surprised about the odds of that horse. It's, whether or not it's quite good, and good enough to get in the top six is, is, is slightly debatable, but the odds of it are, are massive compared to what it should be. Um, so we've got a 10p each way Canadian and 50p each way single. So nice and straightforward. It's 10 20 is the bet. Um, these are all three places with the majority of bookmakers. The only exception is there an exception. I think there is, he says, uh, well, I'm, maybe not. Maybe it's not that race. I think it's not that race. So I think these are all three places across the board and then six in a lot of places here. The seven bookies are the same seven bookies on each of the three bets, but they are in slightly different orders depending on the bet. So for this one, it's Sky Best because you're getting one extra place because Sagaya 7 on there, and then Paddy in 365 because you'll get best price guaranteed on the accumulator, and then Hills, Betfair, Unibet, Betway. Best seven bookies for my bets uh, for Saturday. So that is bet one. Bet two, I'd say sort of like my main bet. It's not the most stake, but it's the main bet. Um, 140 Newbury, Rock My Way, 14s. I like the jockey booking on that particularly. Uh, I mean, 
just to be clear, there's loads of reasons. There's I, I could spend hours just explaining to you about one horse, but um, yeah, I'll, I'll try and put out tidbits. Uh, Two fifty Newbury. I think I, I couldn't leave that at horse out. <laughs> so interesting. Doyen to win. Very small Irish stable. He's only ever had a handful of ride uh, runners over in the UK, and and they're mainly been at Cheltenham. Um, if you write off that horse's handicap debut in Ireland back in I think, May. And if you look at the novice form, it's handicapped really, really well, and particularly for an Irish horse coming over. Um, and then you go look and look more in the detail of the horse, and it's owned by somebody called the Newbury Syndicate, who don't haven't owned any other horses by all accounts, according to what I can find. So whether that is a group of people who uh, just wanted to watch a horse run at Newbury and, and, and it, say they owned it, I don't know. Um, but actually, it it doesn't look like a cheap donkey that's been purchased just for a fun day out at Newbury. Um, I just can't quite understand why it's so big odds um, other than, you know, people just think it's a small Irish stable, but it's, it's eight runners. It's handicapped. Well, if, if, um, if it's coming back off a break and the fact it's called the Newbury syndicate, you kind of think they've ain't been aiming it to come and run a nice race at Newbury. So we will see, but I think it's well worth chancing it. You can get 33s in places. 30s is about the average. 250 Newbury, uh, my mild number one pick over Shaken Up Harry is Eldorado Allen at 18s, but it's a very, very difficult race. Uh, and then 310 Fairy House, my number one pick of the three I've got in that one is Starman at 28s. 20p each way Yankee, 50p each way singles on all four, 20p each way double on the top two to round it up. That's Sky Best, then Paddy and 365, then Betfair fourth place because Betfair are... I think it's this race. I think it's this 140. I think they're offering four places. So Betfair, uh, just double check that one, but I think it's that. And then it's Hills, Unibet, Betway. 880 is the bet. And then the big combo double to finish off. It's the last two races we've got an interest in today. So uh, we might have stuff built on um, to some of these on, on the accumulator bet. So we might just be all down to this one. But 250 Newbury, the four I'm going with, um, Cloudy Glen. Uh, El Dorado Allen, uh, Remastered and Shake Em Up Harry. So two extras in there. As a side point, I think Complete Unknown is that it should be the right favourite in that race. I've not included it in the combinations. It's only about sevens, but it's not favourite at the moment. But that's the horse I would make favourite for the race uh, in terms of I think it's the most likely to win. But I didn't really see much value in seven to one. So I wasn't going to include it for the channel. 310 Fairy House, Ossifer Hops 18s, Starman 28s, Wajaha 22s, 12 times 25 pH way doubles, so all in your bet slip, and it works out to 12 combinations of doubles, 25 pH way, £6 in total. Sky Best, then Paddy Second Best, because Paddy are the only ones going else going six on this Fairy House race. So Sky Best, Paddy Second, 365, and then Hills, Betfair, Unibet, Betway. That is bet three six pound is your bet uh the golf uh frank kennedy's had a better round but he's he's still about five i think five shots off off the frame going into the last round so he's not completely out of it but um it's looking unlikely but he's put a, he's put a good round and we're definitely going to keep an eye on him um as a golfer who's potentially going to be going places so uh it doesn't look like a return for the golf this week but we'll see and then tips to competition be very very important with tips to competition there's four races at Newbury on ITV Racing and they've added in two at Fairy House, but not particularly, not not our favourite free 10 uh, handicap, unfortunately. So please double check uh, either in, in my comments, so the comment I will put on this video will tell you the specific races for Fairy House. Um, I want to say it's something like the two o'clock and the three, let me double deck it, oh, it is two o'clock and 3.40. Uh, so it's in the comment. But please make sure if you're entering the tips to competition, you reply to the comment. You've clearly write what meeting is because it's really, really helpful. Last week, people were all over the chip shop writing all sorts of stuff. And me and Stephen had to figure out <laughs> search horses. Where were they? Because uh, people weren't putting in the meetings all the time. So please make sure you do that. Otherwise, I might start to get even stricter and and uh, avoid you if you're not putting it that in there. And I don't want to get that 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 sort of uh, bad. Um so six races to play for, maximum 10 points, maximum three horses, no decimal points, no multiples. The, all the rules are in the comment. You just need to read it and reply to that comment to enter before two o'clock, albeit the first race at Newbury on the television that you can enter is 1.40. All right. Um, oh, there was a side bet. I was going to mention a side bet. Uh, 1.25... 
didn't include it in the main channel 105 105 newbury for those of you who stayed to the end 105 newbury um it's not necessarily my usual kind of side bet one because it's um it's got a funny profile of a horse this one but 105 newbury dixie flyer 200 to 1 in the main market it's got back form from Ireland that said it's plenty good enough to make it a little bit of a competitive stab at this race. Since it's come over to the UK and changed trainer, it's done nothing. Um, it, it could easily run in a handicap. They're not running in a handicap. Um, it's as in it's qualified for a handicap mark. Um, I just think it's worth a little play in the side market if they're going if they're trying to improve the horse. So I think the fourth, five, sixth place markets, which fourth in three six five you can get 190 to one in fourth place market i think that's the best bet um but i would be looking at splitting stake across fourth fifth sixth place market but it, it may well run last because it's 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 really done nothing since it's come over but the back form is better than a lot of the horses in the race so if they can get it back on form um then then fourth fifth sixth i think is worth having a little try on on dixie flyer in the 105 newbury all right that is me i'm planning to be back uh tuesday night that should be it for the week and good luck with whatever you're back in and enjoy the second day of december thank you very much bye bye